I built the biggest pyramid in Minecraft history. The pyramid's so big that it actually is taller than the clouds, and we're going to give this pyramid away to one lucky contestant today. Me and the boys are gonna go inside of this pyramid, create three different levels full of traps. I'm gonna just bury down all the way to the center of this, because I want people to be able to jump in through the roof to start. So that they're gonna jump all the way down. This is gonna take a little bit. There it is. Let's get this thing cleared out. I'm a little bit claustrophobic here on this one. Isaac, how you feeling about this build right now? Just me and you. Lost the building crew. It's gonna take a long time. This one's gonna take a while, guys, but don't worry. It's going to be one of the most impressive builds you ever see. <laughs> well, maybe. I was just going through clearing this whole thing. I actually really kind of like the dark theme to start off. That really spooks us a little bit here. That's got a nice flavor to it, but I, I think just for our sake, we'll keep it lit up just so we can record this video so we know what we're doing. All right, so they're gonna fall in here. Isaac, you're gonna add the details. I'm gonna work on the traps. Now, what do you think about when you think of a pyramid? You think of zombies. You think of Loverfelly. All that stuff comes to mind. So we're going to do a little bit of a dispenser fake out here at the beginning. So these are gonna be empty dispensers and a fake tripwire. Empty dispensers and a fake tripwire, all right? This is all fake. This is all fake traps on the first floor. We don't want them to actually do anything, but this is gonna be a creeper spawner. And so I'm actually going to get a little bit of redstone behind it. So we're going to come in here, drop down some redstone dust, and I'm going to bring it just along this line. Now step on it. Oh, yes. All right, guys. So here is the first path right now. All right. We got you fall down into the pit of water. You're faced with a little bit of lava. Got to get through the fire here, of course. Then you got some fake traps, some real traps. What are you going to do? You're going to step on any of them? Who knows? In fact, let's up this even a little bit more and put some more fake traps in the center. And they'll have to decide which traps will they step on. They walk down this side. They're going to spawn in some zombies. Those zombies will then spawn more zombies. And then this is all fake. Oh, give me one second, guys. Getting a phone call here. Hello? Oh, what's up? I need some meatballs. All right, we'll get you some meatballs delivered. Cotton, be on the lookout. All right, guys, Cotton doesn't know what meatballing is. He's brand new on the building team, so we're going to pop in there and get him a little meatball while he's distracted. It's going to be so good. It's all about the art of stealth. You got to creep in. Isaac, come here. Meatball! Ho, 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 ho. Just hit Cotton. Just hit Cotton with his first meatball. Might have broken the build, but got him with the meatball. Okay, guys, we're going to add a little bit of depth here. We don't want this to be too easy. What is this going to be? Uh, One by one lava pit? I think so. All right, I think so. Look at this. You're walking. Boom, little lava on the ground. And then we'll make it a little bit harder. We'll put lava in the middle. All right, a little bit there. Wow, that's a loud motorcycle. That's great. It's the Uber. He's sending in the, uh, the meatball. <laughs> it's a meatball. Meatball delivery service. Maybe that's Matt finally delivering my Chipotle. All right, so here's the new lava section. And you know what? We need a little bit more lava from the ceiling here. I just feel like that's very necessary. You can never have too much ceiling lava. That's something my grandpa taught me. So this first floor, let's make it fire themed. We're going clear clearly we're a little bit deep into the fire theme right now. So there's no turning back on that at this point. Oh, Isaac. Wow. You're making a legit parkour course in here. This is going to be the most ultimate pyramid ever. Sometimes I hear the words I say, most ultimate, and I'm like, I'm a 24-year-old dude, and that's how I describe this. It's just sad. Guys, so we need a little bit more lava. I kind of like the corner lava that flows out of the wall. That's just a beautiful little thing, too. It's just a nice touch, guys, a little happy lava flow. See if I can do it, guys. Here's the... Okay. Very challenging. I mean, once you fall in, you're done. Like, this, whoever gets this base is going to be... Super lucky. And a $20 Steam gift card, courtesy of Mr. Cotton. Okay, Isaac, is this left like a like a distraction path? Nope. What is it? You'll see in a second. I have no idea what you're building. Look at this, Zach. Why don't you uh, left click right here under the lava? I can't. Your freaking giant head is in my way. <laughs> Cheat code. Oh, message Isaac BC for a free telly to the second floor. Now that's a good idea, putting in a cheat code. I, I just, I love it. All right, guys, quick update on the base build. It's looking fantastic. You're looking fantastic. We're all looking fantastic. I like how I boost you up a little bit in the video. Just so I, it's just so you like the video. Yeah, it's a morale boost. You walk in, you boom, you hit with the lava. Boom, you're hit with the trap. That's fake. You got a little zombie spawner on the side. You got these little magma things. You got to sprint through here. Boom, boom, boom. Don't die. Make it to this thing. Make it to this thing. Make it to this. Oh my gosh, I'm on. I died. We got ladders. We got this over here. Here with the trap there's a lot of stuff going on but there's also a cheat code in here if you click on this there's an underground box someone manages to find that they get teleported to the second floor instantly this is crazy i will be marking the cheat code with a green wool on every floor Ooh, good idea no one's gonna notice the green wool on the ceiling all right boom you make it up here guys you're ready to go and you got these two things you're like oh that's nothing oh but it is a trip to death. You hit this and run right through it. Boom. You fall down into that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. I think you just made a great point. Why would anyone want to win this base? I have no idea. All right. So to make this one a little bit harder, we're going to be adding some spawners in here. I'm going to put uh, another one at the back just to make it a little bit more challenging to have them at the back end. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> I don't know how you're gonna get through this one. I mean, this is literally impossible at this point. But it is for twenty dollars, guys. That's a lot. We're the budget Mr. Beast here today. Because what do you think of my little highlight pieces? My lava walls in the background. It's like a little aquarium, but for lava, and it'll kill you if you get near it. It's just a nice little, nice little something I did there. Oh, fireball shooters. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Great touch. One thing that's going to make this a little bit more challenging is just the fact that the skeletons are starting to come out to a point where they can shoot you while you're walking across this lava platform of death. So that's uh, just not what you want. All right, moving along the first floor, we got spawners, we got lava, we got steps. Isaac is now building what appears to be the next zone, which is the ice zone full of ice. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm just going to lava up this bottom zone a little bit more just for the flair and the aesthetic looks. Oh, man, we are killing it, boys. What a team right now. Now, this is a house. So keep in mind, someone will be living here once they win. So I'm adding the aesthetic parts, the base feel to it. So that's why I'm kind of down here just trying to make it nice because well, I mean, are you going to win a base and then never use it? Right? So I want to give you a reason to keep this. All right, guys. So here are some of the newest additions to our lava area, a lava floor, lava pieces in the side. This should also be a lava piece right here. And I think we're going to turn all of oh, this isn't actually lava to magma block and it hurts you if you stand on it. So if people come by and get knocked into this area, they're going to take a little bit of extra damage on top of all the lava around here. Isaac and Cotton are working on the second stage, which is the ice area, but I think this is really, really coming along way cooler than I thought it would be. I want to get rid of these stairs. We need to make sure they have enough headroom to jump correctly. So that looks great. I'm going to actually replace that there too. All right, quick tour of the new ice stage. We got a skeleton that made it upstairs. So that shouldn't happen. We got this nice thing where you pop down and you get drowned. So that's a fun little, fun little detail we added there. I love that. Multiple more areas to drown in. Squeeze on through here and a tripwire. The skeletons are beating the mash before anyone. They're going to be the ones who win this base. Okay, look what this room turned out to be. So we nether brick the whole thing. I think it looks freaking awesome. You walk in and this is just evil. I mean, this just bites you in the face. Look at this insane. We got some, we got some added layers of difficulty in here. The first one's nearly impossible. Yeah. Nice jump here. This is a very nice jump. That's quite challenging to make actually as everyone makes it the first try. Okay. I think the ice zone's good. We can add some more details as we go. All right, you guys work on the next zones. I'll get some detailing in here to clean this thing up. Okay. So as we're adding the finer details here, I just want to point out how great my team is making this thing possible. So big shout out to everyone who's building this with me. It's taken hours and hours and hours of work and I am really, really happy. I'm going to break this just to make it a little more possible. Here. Zach, how's your build going? Your water ruined all my redstone. <laughs> Cotton, first rule lover is never wrong. Always applaud his build. Oh, thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Does Matt deserve a raise for that, everyone? Can I get some comments if Matt might deserve a raise for that? That was beautiful. Well, well said. All right, we're going to lay it easy with the water so we don't ruin any more redstone. You hate to see that happen. There are the amount of skeletons that fell into this pit is actually mind boggling. Skeletons, you're not supposed to be up here, boys. You're in the wrong zone. It's going to be impossible to get through. I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to take off this back spawner. It's just too much. We now have a skeleton pit of doom. That's very exciting. All right, let's go take a quick look here at Isaac's additions to the base. He's been working on the beginning, just trying to clean it up, get rid of all the internal sandstone and place with nether blit. <laughs> Whatever I just tried to say. I'm going to help him out real quick. Dude, I like the transition from lava to ice. It's got just such a fresh feeling to it. Very nice. Very nice. Like entering into the water zone, it's just like, boom, you're here, buddy. You're ready to go. Let's move. Definitely not going to be easy to make it through this thing. I jump is so hard. <laughs> Not if you're good like me. Okay, let's get this last zone taken care of. So what exactly? Don't know. Well, the final challenge is very simple. You make it through these two floors. You come up to the end zone. You got a sign here that says follow Loverfella's Instagram. That's to you guys watching right now. It's Loverfella. Turn around. Boom. Secret lever. You open it. The chest is here. And inside the chest, they're going to win a bunch of Steam gift card money. Cotton's throwing in 20 bucks. I'm going to throw in maybe like a 50. We'll see what we get. I mean, we'll see like how long it takes them to win. And we'll have a big Steam money prize. One of you will win $70 today. In Inside this pyramid, there are two layers of extremely difficult traps and challenges to get through. The first one to make it to the end and find the hidden chest wins a $70 Steam gift card. Here we go, guys. We are teleporting 75, maybe 80 people to this location. We have got to find the entrance. Now, the server is not made for this. The lag is severe at the moment. And <laughs> here we go. We one add FPS at a time, guys. It's going to take a minute for this to all load in. So here we go, guys. The giant grand battle. Everyone's looking for the entrance. And here it is. But will they manage to make it inside? Here we go. They found the hole, guys. I'm going to go straight down and get a nice view. So here come all the contestants in here. We got one guy in the very front. This is so freaking cool. Guys, if you haven't gotten a spectator, highly recommended. Lots of people dying in the lava at the very beginning. Just a horrible beginning section. All right. One guy is just 
broken off from the pack of people all the way up here. Let's get in there and take a view. Oh, goes in the lava. Did not recover from that one. We got some more people coming in. Very nice, very nice. This guy's doing great. And let's go ahead and take a view at our previous contestants. Wow. They are not doing well, guys. Anyone else? Lots of people still coming in on through the roof as well. This beginning section is just destroying them. All right, no. Oh, 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 oh. We might have our first person making it to the second section of the lava zone. Let's see. We have two. And I did say they could fight. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, falls into the side wall lava. Don't know how that happened. Whoa. He's still alive, though. He's still going. He's still going. This man is on fire and he's still going. How is this possible? Oh, my goodness. We may have our grand champion. Look at this man go. Lots of people struggling behind him as well. He doesn't stop. He doesn't fall. This man's taking zero damage. I'm very interested. And is he hack? Can he make the jump? Let's see it. The big jump. The big jump. The big jump. Success. Do you guys see this man? He's made it. He's made it. Now he's looking. Guys, the chest is right here. All he has to do is turn around. The chest is right behind him. I don't know how he didn't die. Is this guy legit? He does have a potion. He's looking. He's looking. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. He's not sure what to do. Oh, we, oh, we got a contestant. I'm going to tell him they can fight. They can fight. <laughs> they don't know what to do, and it's just right there. Two people have made it. We got more people coming in the back, guys. I'm just going to poke out the wall and see. Lots of people have died, and lots of people are still at the beginning. They still do not. We have three people now at the end. No one has understood that it's just a lever. I just put this here to plug my Instagram. There's really nothing on my Instagram. There is no hint. Oh, it's so funny. Who's going to get the chest? Who's going to get the chest? Who's going to get it? I have absolutely no idea. We got four contestants here. Oh, the book's down. Can they pick up the book? We got it. We got it. We got it. The man who made it here first is our grand champion. The non-casual. Congratulations on winning your $70 Steam gift card. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This video took hours to make. So if you enjoyed it, lick your screen and please check out some more of my videos here and here. Guys, as always, lick that screen. Spread the love and I'll see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow. Peace.